Let's yeah. talk about the dance. Yeah. What happened there? Basically, I found a sound that I was very addicted to. La. Like, then I just shout like a words, right? I dance a dance because I was like so addicted to it. At that point of time, right? Okay, I'm just going to be fucking honest. Like, my TikTok views were not as high as like usual. But like, I just do the dance because I was like, whatever, law, like maybe no one's really going to see it, but I just enjoy doing the dance. Then it started getting traction and then people were like, oh, let me do the Dewey True dance. So they started calling it the Dewey True dance because I keep doing it in Singapore. And then my, my audience are uh, majority Singaporeans. But, so if Singaporeans see this, girl do the dance and you think nice and they'll probably do it too but I think where I went wrong was when like because people were calling it my dance and then I kind of also kind of claimed it as my dance so like right, so you claimed it and that's why people were upset in yeah. the end when they found out it wasn't yeah, choreographed yeah. by you yes mm. correct correct because I just said like oh let me teach you how to do my dance the Mama Sita dance because at that point of time I was using the word Mama Sita a lot so I just do it and then that's when I found out oh shit I kind of up because like there was someone that actually choreographed the dance and I can't just like take credit for it lah. 